Good morning. I mean, what an amazing story. 25 children were found after going mis uh, missing thanks to the U.S. Marshals with help of some po uh, local police agencies. We actually spoke with a woman who went missing when she was 14 years old, and she tells us that being found is just the first step in a long road to recovery. Lauren Sowell is living a life she dreamed, a mother and social worker who is happy and safe. Her journey to get there, riddled with obstacles few will understand. Actually, nobody looked for me. Mm. I was invisible, and when I was in the street. At 14, Sowell ran away from her foster grandparents' home. A predator found her, got her addicted to heroin, and sex trafficked her for seven years in Highland Park. So it took him being killed for you to it escape? It took him being killed for me to escape and be free and get my identity back. The journey to freedom has begun for 25 missing kids across Metro Detroit who were found thanks to the efforts of U.S. Marshals. The operation uh, was titled Operation We Will Find You. Deputy Robert Watson explaining their mission ran from March until mid-May, locating children here locally all the way to New Zealand. Those are children that we physically had to remove from a situation. So they could have been victims of uh, online enticement, sex trafficking, uh, you know, parental kidnapping. Sowell says being found is the first step in a long healing journey, and she's willing to lend a hand to help guide them along the way. Victims only stay victims when they don't have voices, but when they have voices and people like legislation and people like law enforcement actually fighting for them and giving them what they need, they become victims to survivors. And being a survivor is a great thing. Now, the U.S. Marshals, in partnership with the National Organization, have helped to find over 3,000 missing children. So we are so thankful for them and their efforts. Live in downtown Detroit, I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. And hearing Lauren Kira say she felt invisible, I think, highlights how critical these operations are. Thanks for that live report.